Rockaways Productions presents The Casey Waters Show, episode 79, A Cascading Waterfall of Nectar by Thinley Norbu, part 2. Hello, I'm your host, Casey Waters, and tonight I will continue with A Cascading Waterfall of Nectar by Thinley Norbu. This is part two in a series. Um, a Cascading Waterfall of Nectar is a modern Buddhist classic. It was just published last year. So, let's go to page 11, about a third the way down. And we're gonna read through page 18, about half the way down. The Buddhist view is always flawless and absolute because it is always based on the state of immeasurable stainless space. From that state come the ultimate pure Buddha fields of Sambhogakaya, and from that state come the infinite manifestations of Nirmanakaya. Buddhism is beyond eternalism, but Buddhism never denies phenomenon, which are always unobstructed and can arise according to time and place. That, that does not mean they arise only in one way, because they are never stuck in time and place. The Buddhist view is beyond time and place, because there is always stainless, immeasurable, empty space. So it never falls to time in place. It also never falls to nothingness, because phenomena appear in time and place as manifestations wherever beings' phenomena occurred, not fixed by conceptualization or materialization. There is not only nothingness, because there is always, and always can manifest. Buddhist teachings begin in a beginninglessly pure way, so the path is naturally clean and easy. In Buddhism, whatever eternalist beliefs are held are not denied, Although Buddhism does not accept the eternalist supreme view or totally believe in eternalist characterizations of gods, the Buddhist view is that anything can appear to benefit beings according to their different faculties without attempting to assure that anything is definite. Therefore, when Buddhism explains eternalist and nihilist views, and that eternalism has many different views, while Buddhism does not accept these views as ultimate, there is no objection to whatever gods appear according to eternalism, which depends on time and individual capacity. Also, since Buddhism teaches that there is manifestation Although these manifestations are fully enlightened, they can appear in any impure or pure aspect, depending on time and even individuals, beings, faculties resulting from previous karma. Generally, in Buddhism, gods are considered not ultimate, but temporary, because gods themselves cannot give up a self. That is why Kun Kenyin Rongzompa identifies eternalist gods as worldly deities. As long as there is a self, there are always passions. There is always karma, and there's always change. There is nothing absolute. There is no view 
of how to reach the fully enlightened state that is connected with eternalist gods whose histories occur within different times and places. Whether time is brief, long-lasting, or many eons, it is a temporary appearance that belongs to beings, depending on beings' habit or manifesting from Buddhas according to beings' faculties. Even though time and place do not exist and are just conception, whoever has not realized the fully enlightened state believes in a reality of time and place. Buddhas have no time or place, but Buddhas manifest within time and place for the benefit of beings. They are called fully enlightened because there is nothing trapped in time. Buddha's inconceivable wisdom is forever abiding in unwavering, stainless dharmakaya, never remaining in the habit of a certain place. Buddha has purified self, so that is why Buddha is fully enlightened. Because eternalism does not give up the view of an existing self, whether a god is considered intermediate or supreme, there is still the cause of passions and karma. Even though the way the appearances of God arise seems positive according to history or an individual's experience, and excels beyond the appearances of ordinary beings. Since self is not purified, self produces cause and effect. Whenever there is cause and effect, a possessor comes, and there is samsara no matter what aspect of God's arises. This is the basic Buddhist view about the characteristics 